Welcome to my video on the all new Corvette E-Ray. This really cool brand representative from Chevrolet is walking us around the cutaway for the E-Ray and telling us what makes the car special. Now around the one minute mark, I get into more detail and compare the E-Ray to the all new Z06. Let me know what you think about a hybrid all wheel drive Corvette or would you prefer the naturally aspirated rear wheel drive Z06? I recently had the opportunity to check out the all new Corvette E-Ray. I learned about what makes the E-Ray special and how it compares to the all new Corvette Z06. Chevrolet engineers set out to build the Corvette E-Ray into a grand touring Corvette. It's the first Corvette that you can drive anywhere due to the E all wheel drive system. 655 total horsepower. That's 495 horsepower from the 6.2 liter naturally aspirated LT2 V8. Essentially the base C8 engines horsepower with the Z51 package. Plus the electric battery driving the front wheels, which is good for an additional 160 horsepower. Electric mode max speed is approximately 45 miles an hour with a range of about three to four miles. That's perfect for sneaking into and out of the house to test the hypercar like performance figures. Now they're coming in at zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds and a quarter mile time in only 10 and a half seconds. Compare that to the 670 naturally aspirated horsepower from the Z06's flat plane crank V8, which produces 2.6 second zero to 60 times and 10.6 second quarter miles. Wider fenders like on the Z06 allow for new, specially designed Michelin Pilot Sport 4S ZP, 275 millimeter tires in the front and 345 millimeter rear tires with the ZER performance package. The tire differences provide for 1G of lateral acceleration on standard Michelin Pilot Sport all seasons and 1.1G on performance Michelin PS4S ZP tires. Now compare that to the 1.22 Gs of lateral acceleration from the Z06. Standard carbon ceramic brakes help haul the E-Ray in from 60 miles an hour in only 99 feet, while the Z06 beats that distance by four feet. Now four feet doesn't sound like much, but that four feet could be the difference between life and death or an average lap time versus your personal best. The coupe starts around 104,000 while the convertible adds an additional $7,000 for a total MSRP of around 111,000. That's nearly $40,000 more than the base Corvette C8. Is it worth it? I think I'll need to drive them back to back for research purposes. The Z06 is only $1,000 more than the E-Ray, or you can look at it like the E-Ray provides better performance and more usability than the Z06 for less money. Either way, Corvette has three very different options to meet your sports car or grand touring needs. The E-Ray will be built as a 2024 model with production to start later in the year. Now good luck getting one, as some people waited for days in line to have the chance to order theirs. The Corvette has always been a relative performance bargain and Chevrolet has clearly outdone themselves this time. Let me know in the comments section which Corvette you'd rather have, the Corvette E-Ray or the Corvette Z06.